Hey, hello everyone. Paul Apollonia here. Uh, it is uh, July 15th, 14th, 2019. I'm going to go over what I sold for the week from July 8th to uh, today. Let me uh, introduce myself again. I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay since about 2001, as a poster back there says. I really didn't take it seriously till about 2007 when I was uh, fortunately, unfortunately, working a nighttime job to make some money. And a friend of mine said, you should be selling on eBay. And I ignored him. And I finally took his advice. And that's basically how it got started. Um, I also do other things on the side. I think it's very, very important for people to have side income, side hustle, whatever you want to call it, whatever works for you. Um, there are many people that have full-time incomes on eBay. I'm getting very close to that. But it's also refreshing to know that I have side things going on for weeks like this. Um, I did not sell a tremendous lot this week. A lot of it's my fault. I did not list nearly as much as I normally list. I try and list every day. Uh, numbers vary from day to day. But uh, so this little sales this week is my fault. Nobody else is not eBay's. It's not the world's fault. It's my fault. But I made enough money to get by. We're good. So let's get this shoe on the road. This is my YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Uh, please subscribe to it if you like what you're seeing here. A lot of these are what I sold videos, a lot of tips and tricks videos, a lot of videos on Chromebooks. Um, I use a Chromebook 99% of the time. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and a bunch of frugal videos, a bunch of shipping videos. Uh, anything to help you out with your online selling. Most of it geared towards eBay, but I'm getting more into Amazon and other venues. So now let's get this show on the road and let's look at what I sold this week. I also do a lot of consignment. It's about 80% of my, about 70% of my business. Um, it works out well for me. It's taken me years to get it figured out. Um, it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is, but the one thing I love about it is I'm not out there sourcing items. People are bringing items to me. I give them uh, my rates are what they are. You charge what you want. I'm 50% up to the first hundred. Then it goes down from there. There's a tremendous a lot. There's a tremendous amount of work that is done when you're doing consignment. So, but it works for me. It's not for everybody. I'm not telling you you should do it. I'm not telling you, you shouldn't do it. I don't tell people stuff like that. Everybody has their own business model. Every stuff, go, but all stuff going on in your lives, whatever. It works for me. I also do a lot of parting out of things. Here's a part that I sold. A Dyson. Um, I end up getting these on Craigslist for free or when I'm out thrifting, I get them for almost nothing, maybe five, ten dollars $10. I don't spend any more than $20 on these. <clears throat> I can make a lot of money. I can make well over $100 in parts on these things but I try and keep it cheap to get them. 99% of the time when you get these things, it's just clogged. So if you're looking for a good vacuum cleaner, uh, look for something <laughs> free on Craigslist or Dyson, and 90% of the time, it is just clogged. Um, did okay with this. This is probably the fifth or sixth part I sold off of this. $21.99, I know I was hoping to get more than that, but that is what it, the going rate was. On eBay, um, I try not to price my stuff the lowest. I try and price it mid to high what people are selling it for. Let me quickly go over some how I do my listings, and we I'll try not to bore you with this. Try to get done the first listing. I keep it short and to the point on the title. Remember, you want to use searchable keywords. What would a buyer be searching for on eBay and on Google is much more important than actually eBay because... Google is where people go to search for things. So I keep it simple. When I'm doing anything but new, I always use this uh, condition description. Um, I do, I do not, I, I rarely do free shipping. I used to do it a lot before. Uh, I, I've seen actually an increase in sales on my stuff. You do what you want to do. I will do free shipping if I see most of the items that I'm trying to sell. Like if I'm looking up for, for comparing the item, uh, most of them are free shipping. Then I will do free shipping. If it's first class, I do free shipping sometimes. But most of my stuff, people pay for shipping. 
You will also notice I do economy shipping. Now, people say that could hurt you because that means you get the item within nine to whatever it is days. But why I do that is because it opens me up to every shipping option I can use in eBay. I can ship it first class. I can ship a priority. I can ship a priority A box, B box. I can ship it priority padded flat rate uh, envelope. I can ship it flat rate boxes. I can ship it FedEx ground. I can ship it what they call FedEx smart post. What FedEx smart post is, from what I understand, and I've talked to the post office and FedEx, is it's a combination, it's a collaboration between post office and FedEx. You ship it smart post, you drop it off at FedEx, it goes to the closest FedEx office to the uh, buyer's location. Uh, if you ship it, if you bring it to the post office, it goes to the closest post office to the buyer's location. But I'm hearing it goes by snail or slug or whatever to get to that post office. Also, remember one very important thing, great for shipping large items, no insurance. So be aware of that. So that's a risk we all take for stuff like that. And I think that's basically what I do. I also try and use all the item specifics. Um, keep my descriptions really short. 80% of the sales are done on smartphones. So that is basically from my listing. I probably made about um, probably $18 on this. And it went into a long box that I already had, an Amazon box somebody gave me. I flipped the Amazon boxes inside out. Some buyers get irate when they get an Amazon box from eBay. I don't care what you ship it in. Amazon, Jet, Chewy Box. It, 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 as long as the box is not dirty, greasy, whatever, I don't care <laughs> when, when I'm getting stuff. But some people get really, really irate with that. I, I, I flip the box around. Uh, next is another uh, not a whole lot, the uh, big dollar item here. Actually, this item has been in my store for two years. I forgot about it. And I've got tons of them anyway, so I'm going to add multiple quantities to this. I uh, did not make a whole lot of money when I uh, first class. To show you how old it is, look at the shipping, $3.99. I should have upped it a little bit. I made probably uh, $7.50 on this. Um, now, when I do multiple items, when I'm selling quantities more than one, I always put in here, the one you get may not be the one in the picture. It may have different decals, it may have different markings, but it will func be functionally the same. And another thing I also do, I'm selling any kind of part, parts or anything like that. I try my best, I, sometimes I forget and I don't always do it, is I always have either the last picture or the last two, the model of the uh, trimmer or, or whatever it is, washer, dryer or whatever, and the uh, serial number and all the other pertinent information so people know what it came from. Let's go to the next one. We probably got about 10 items, maybe 12 items this week. This is not all the items I've sold. It's just not been a great week, but hey, it's good. I had some trainings. Everything was good. Everything worked out. Um, this is a consignment item. A friend of mine had a lot of consignment with. I sold this within an hour. I guess I either had it price a little low, but it didn't matter. It, it just was a quick dollar. So on this, I made a uh, half of $34. Um, and then how it works is I get half of the $34, his half fees come out of and everything. And my clients are happy because they're getting rid of their things and they know I'm trying to get the best price for them. Um, excuse me. If you want to know what this is, this is off of a, this is for a ham radio operation. Put one wire through, one coax wire, one antenna wire, and you can junction it out to several different antennas you have in your yard or your roof. Uh, a dishwasher handle. I do a lot of parting out of things. I get dishwashers and anything for on free on Craigslist. What I do on Craigslist is I create an email alert now back in the old days. When you create an email alert, which means let's say I'm looking for dishwashers on Craigslist in the free section. I would go into Craigslist, sign in, and there's an alert where you put in what you're looking for. And once it all comes up to searches, it'll say alert, excuse me, or save. 
excuse me, whatever. I, I, I can't remember what it says, but it's something about alert or email or something. And you can set up an email alert. Now, back in the old days, it would ding you right away the second <clears throat> the person put it up there. Today, it's a little delayed. It's a lot of delayed. But I still grabbed some things on Craigslist using the alerts. Did not make a lot of money on this. But already, I've probably made about $125 on the dishwasher. This part just basically comes out when I was taking the control panel out of the front door. It's flip it, flip it, and it pulls out, and it's in your hand. So it wasn't even that much work to take out. I probably made uh, $850 on this. Again, not a big dollar sale, but I will take it. And again, here's the example of the last picture of the... Uh, the item is the part, uh, the model number, and on dishwashers, it is on the inside of the door you open on that edge, or on the inside after you open the door on that on the in, it's nowhere else but in those two spots. <clears throat> Another consignment item for the same friend of mine that I just sold that uh, that antenna coax uh, switch thing to. Notice no microphone. So what I have here is in the title, I have no mic. And I also have here, let me just show you the pictures real quick. Here, let me shrink my ugly mug down in a little bit there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. Let me just turn that off. That's my phone. Okay. Sorry about that. Um here are some of the pictures of this thing. I want to show you. There's there's the obvious picture. Then I took a picture of the of that. Then of the manuals. And then I took a picture of the missing microphone. Said there'd be no questions. The missing the microphone. So we know it's missing a microphone. So that is basically that. I stated it in the title. I stated it in the in the uh, uh, condition description there. No microphone, missing microphone, so people know. Um, and I sold this within a day. That's the going price of it. I did the best I could with item specifics. Same thing, No, there you go again, no microphone, no microphone, blah, 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 same over and over again. I even put an item specifics field in there for notes saying no microphone. So um, if you think you have a microphone, got a microphone in this, Okay, we need to start reading, I guess. Uh, did very well on this, 50% of that. That was sweet. It went out to, um, I think it went somewhere local in the state of North Carolina. I can't remember, somewhere close by. Um, so that was good. I made a lot of money. He made a lot of money, and it was sitting in his garage, so he is thrilled. Another consignment item from the same person. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is. Some kind of... now. Let me tell you, when I was looking for um, comparing different uh, what people were selling these for, I saw everybody had this, and it had Mac, iPad, iPhone, and PC. But it says nowhere in here for PC. So I removed the PC part in, in my item title, in the title. I was a little nervous. It looks like it's a straight, just an Apple setup. I have no idea what this thing is, by the way. I, I, I sell a lot of things. I don't know what they are, but uh, I sell them. So that's a good thing. Um, so what I did here was um, took a picture of the back, what's inside, the software. Um, sold this within a day. Uh, I actually found a listing that had all the specifics in it. So that was great. Um, so there you go. Like I said, I, I did not put PC in there. I saw everybody else had PC. I was a little nervous about doing that. I did not want to do that. Let's scroll down here. Any other tidbits I can give you? No. So I got 50% of that. What's that? Like 22 bucks, $23. And that's fine. It was a quick sale. Went first class, put it in a box, wrapped it in plastic first in like a, a, a food wrap plastic. I got a big roll of that. I use that. So if it gets wet, it won't get wet. The box will get wet, but not the the uh, the box itself. Um, this is a part out of a Dyson uh, ball vacuum cleaner. I don't know if you remember these. Um, these are the vacuum cleaners that they're a little thin thing in the front that you'd vacuum, and the ball in the back would roll around. Um, parts on these things don't go for a whole lot of money. 
I, I'll be honest with you, I did not look at the um, price of some of these parts before I started parting this thing out. I don't know why I did that, but um, spent a little bit of time wor working on this. I, I didn't even get the other parts listed yet on this. I did not make a lot of money. Uh, $19 with free shipping. Everyone had free shipping, so I figured I would do free shipping. I could have done Eleven ninety nine, and then whatever the difference is in shipping, but it, it didn't matter. And let me see if I have the. I'm, I'm gonna hopefully not prove myself a liar here. There's your uh, tag off the vacuum cleaner, which is in the back of the vacuum cleaner. Some of these tags on these vacuum cleaners can be hard to find. They could be underneath. They could be behind um, the um, the bagless container you take off. They could be behind the handle. Uh, they could be underneath something when you pull the vacuum cleaner. They could be hard to find some of these ID tags, but this is very important to post it. And you also need this information to do part searches on Google because once you know the part number, that's what people are searching on. That's what Google search on searches on. So that's very important if you can get the part number. Dyson part numbers are very easy to get. Shark part numbers, eh, not so easy, but sharks are great vacuum cleaners for the money. I do not work for Shark. I just parked them out, and I've seen how they um, how they're put together. Uh, a blower housing on a this is off of a basic lawnmower, maybe even a pressure washer. How you basically take this off is there's a cover over this most of the time. You take that off. Then there's the gas tank. Yeah, you a couple of bolts, and that's off. And then there's a bolt. Hang on. There's two bolts here. I always take a picture of the sides, which is very important because it's different. Side cutouts are different for a lot of mowers. It's pretty rusty, this one. The other side, and then there's two bolts up on the, um, up over here in on the side there. I don't know why I'm not showing the, that front. Kind of weird. Um, I always take a picture of the rope. I pull the rope out a little bit to show that it's, uh, that it's good. There's the back. I don't know why I got a picture of that. Oh, because the model number is there. The model number is in the back of this one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I also take a picture of what they call. I pull a rope out, and then you can see these things come out, these little catcher things come out. They're actually called dogs, like the dog you have as a pet. I don't know why they're called that, but they stick out, and they grab the the engine and they and they pull the engine. That's what that is. I don't make a whole ton of money on this. I make probably about twelve dollars, thirteen dollars on these, but I have a ton of these and they do sell. They sometimes they are long tail sales. That means they sit in my store forever. Or other times they sell pretty good. Uh, spring, summer, and early fall is usually a good time to sell these. And they fit multiple mowers. Just make sure that you take side pictures of these so people know. What the sides look like. Yep, see, please review, and I even have in the description, please review side cutouts, photos two, three, four, and five, and that's what they are. So people know. I try and be as honest as I can be. I don't, I, I do my best to avoid returns. I don't have a problem with returns as part of the business, but I don't like it when it's, when it's a mistake I made. Uh, not a big ticket. Item here, I just sold this the other day. It's a PS2 game. Maybe you're thinking PS2 game. Well, people still play them. They seem like they're popular. I've sold a lot of PS2 game gaming systems. Uh, somebody gave me this as part of the batch that was under consignment. Then they said, don't worry about it. Just keep everything. Um, did not make a lot. Free shipping. Sent it out in media mail. Media mail is for books, CDs, VHS tapes, uh, I think albums and stuff you can't send magazines because that's advertising or newspapers from what i understand just look at the rules on that and please follow the rules you don't want to get the post office mad at you for any reason i made a whopping four dollars and 45 cents for this took me all of two minutes to list it one minute to pack it two seconds to print the label out so that was okay i just ran upstairs and Shipped it out real quick. Two more items to go. This is a lawnmower bag holder off of a lawn boy. It attaches to the handle. 
The handle has two little grippy things on the side. You slide it in and the, the side bag comes up and you clip it in to that. This is my last one I've got. I've sold about eight of these from when I was doing small engine repair in my garage. And I still get lawnmowers all the time from people. Uh, did pretty well on this. I made uh, $23 on this. It almost went out first class. It was a pound and a half. I was like, Ugh, darn it. Uh, wrapped it in bubble wrap and put it in two poly eBay envelopes. One on one end, one on the other. Met them, taped the center, sealed it, and it was gone. Uh, fan blades. I've told you guys these fan blades sell not like crazy, but they sell pretty good. For the newcomers here to my channel and watching this, this is a free item I get from the thrift store. I get gas next door. And after I'm done getting gas, they usually have shopping carts out front of the thrift store with four free items. And I've probably got 20, 30 sets of different sizes, shapes, colors of fan blades. I have probably about 15 of them listed. Do they sell every day? No. I at least sell probably one, two, maybe four or five a week. Um, I Like I said, I pay nothing for them. I go over, I go, oh, what's over there? Fan blades. Let me take them, carry them to my car, put them in my car, come home. I don't even really clean these up that much anymore because I always say they need painting or cleaning, whatever. But I just wipe them off, take pictures of them. Now, let me show you when you're doing stuff like this. I actually got this idea from another listing somebody had. I made a template for the holes. And what I did was here is B. I measured it three inches or whatever that is. And then there's A. So I, I, I want to make sure that they're getting the right size fan blade. And I even have it in the, in the um, condition description. A is four. B is two. So um, that's what I do. I make sure that people understand that. So that is basically what I do with the fan blades. Like I said, I don't do, I don't make a fortune off of these. I make about 14. This one I made about $17 on because it went locally about an hour away. That was great. That was wonderful. So that is about it, guys, uh, for the listings. Um, let me tell you about a big event that's coming to Raleigh, September 14th and 15th. We're going to have eBay called me and wants me to host an event. eBay execs will be here. We are going to go and Dana Crawford from Florida. She also works with WorthPoint. And I think the owner of WorthPoint will be here too. We are going to be, uh, it's, a, it's in Meetup. If you go to the Raleigh Meetup uh, group, it's in there as an event. 14th is going to be a free, yes, free. You pay zero for this. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, introduction to eBay, intermediate eBay, advanced eBay. Um, I'm going to be talking. Dana's going to be talking about WorthPoint. Uh, some eBay execs or eBay people will be there talking about eBay. It'll be a great time. It is free. Um, I will be providing coffee. I don't know about anything else being free as far as Danishes or breakfast items. We're trying to figure that out. We don't know if lunch is going to be, pro be provided free or not yet. We have to figure this all out. And it's going to be down at the Methodist Church down in Raleigh. Look at me up. You'll find it there. And then on Sunday of that same weekend, we are going down to the State Fairgrounds Flea Market, which is a huge flea market in Raleigh. And we're going to do some thrifting. We're going to have people from Worth Point there, Dana and everybody else, and me, and hopefully a bunch of other people. And it's really cool because you can go, I'm showing how much this mug is worth. And then you look it up and you go, huh. And then somebody else may say, I've always had trouble selling those mugs because this piece breaks or something or whatever. So it's a great learning experience, even if you don't do a lot of thrifting. Like I don't do a whole lot of thrifting, but it's always great to learn off of other people. I also do training. I just uh, created a, a Zoom account. So I've got that. We can do it online. I do it in person. In fact, I have several trainings coming up this week, two in people's offices and one in somebody's home. Um, we can do that anywhere you want. I also train in classroom settings to Wake County uh, school systems at night. And I'll do some community college work, etc. I can meet you at coffee shops, whatever. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have a great day.